Hey everyone, and thank you for joining us uh, once again on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today with me I have Mike Horn. Mike helps leaders close the gap between what's possible and what's probable to advance authentic leadership and prosperity. Mike, welcome to the podcast. I'm so delighted to be here today with you, Michael. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's dive right into the questions. Number one, why did you become a coach? I became a coach because I believe that everyone deserves a best friend at work. And I think that the executives uh, with whom I work and the aspiring talent with whom I work, they don't often have uh, someone who uh, will tell them that they have their back, someone who can tell them they can uh, believe in the possibility of growth and someone to give them a uh, uh, some feedback and, and let them know that they can do it. I love it. That's great. Question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? My coaching business focuses on advancing authentic leadership in the world. So I am creating content in terms of uh, books and other social media that gets this word out to help people in the broadest uh, sense what you give, you get back. And uh, that is what the offer is. Great. Question number three, where do you find your clients? Clients are all around me. I find uh, clients through the webinars that we hold to promote authentic leadership, through the executive roundtables I do, through these podcasts, and uh, uh, through the networks uh, that we grow. That's great. That's great. Uh, and question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? The challenge that we all face as coaches, and I think it, for me, it's one of the largest, uh, most significant challenges is always working on improvement, working on growth, setting mm -hmm. goals for improvement and directing our um, attitudes, our behaviors and our ways of thinking to lift so that we can do the same thing for our clients. Nice. Nice. Question number five, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would that be? I practice the business of no reg regrets. Um, <laughs> I think that uh, learning is a messy, complicated business. It's not fun as many would uh, lead us to believe. And I'm grateful for uh, the scars. The do-over though, in terms of improvement is always to um, make sure, check myself, get feedback that I'm leading with the values that are important to me, treating others with respect, uh, dignity found in everything, growing diverse ideas and people around me in order to grow inclusion. When I lead from these values, uh, if I feel that I've shortchanged someone or I am shortchanging someone of myself, I know I'm in some trouble and I need to do some work. That's great, I love that outlook. Learning is messy. <laughs> uh, number six and fundamental. Is, what's that? and fundamental 100 percent, absolutely that's a great yeah that's a great outlook um number six is the bonus question what is one book that you recommend all your clients read well of course i'll start with integrity by design and then i'd love to talk about my uh next book which will be out in 12 or 13 months on authentic change but uh i would encourage any of my clients who are interested in uh leading at scale leading with purpose leading with intent to read almost anything by Warren Bennis, who was an early mentor to me. If you want to read uh, his book, Transparency, it's great. If you want to read Herding Cats, uh, these are uh, great lessons for leaders in any of Warren's books. Love it. Love it. Oh, go ahead. Did you have something else? And uh, to keep all of it in context, right? I mean, Warren uh, lived and uh, operated in a certain context, but I think he led with the values that we find important to increase authentic leadership, those humanistic values that lead to actions that create trust and uh, replaces guarded and cautious communication with open and uh, transparent communication. All of those are important. Beautiful. Mike, did you have anything else that you would like to add or, or pitch or promote? Um, and also please let us know where our listeners can connect with you online. Well, I'd love all of uh, your listeners, uh, Michael, to know that uh, we have tremendous agency and we have tremendous uh, ways that we can uh, empower ourselves and others and to tap into that agency so, because the world needs more of who you are 
uh, uh, and we want you to bring your best to every situation. So let's, you know, eliminate uh, systemic injustice in our systems and the organizations that we work. Let's promote the value and the belief in the individual to do great things. Uh, please visit me at uh, Mike dash horn h o r n e dot com. Uh, there you'll find uh, links to uh, some free ebooks on topics of authenticity and leadership and integrity, and uh, links to buy integrity by design, as well as other resources, uh, including a monthly newsletter and access to our upcoming podcast, which releases. Uh, towards the end of next month, Authentic Change with Mike Horn. Available at any place you love to listen to podcasts, including Michael's. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Mike Horn, author of Integrity by Design. Thank you so much for joining us on Coffee with Coaches. Thank you so much, Michael. I've so enjoyed the visit with you and your audience. Cheers.